im Jepperbogen. Deutsche Panzerkräfte Gegenstoß vor. Hi there, in today's video, Stack 3 in early version with short 75mm gun. In box we have few plastic sprue. I only bought Voyager Photo Edge Mesh. Let's start the work, cutting, sanding and gluing. This kit is with plastic trucks. I have to make small modification on hole for making stock in B version, like cutting towing handles on front. Model has nice fitting. Some details are simplified and some are missing, like holes in driving wheel. or slots on lamp. Molded mesh looks terrible. I cut out plastic part and replace with photo edge mesh. Model has some molded handles, but they look useless. And some handles are missing. I make new one using copper wire. I was thinking that trucks are gonna be like Revel one, but they are a big disappointment. I have to use hair dryer for bending them, and single trucks elements are not gonna fit like on manual pictures. I found some interesting elements like this protection on headlamp. I make one using some old photo edge parts. Here you can see another interesting details like wheels mounted on superstructure of the stoop. A lot of stocks were used like equipment transporters. I used some copied carnisters and wooden chest and also some bronco fuel barrels. Now it's time for preparing model for painting. First, priming metal parts using Tamiya metal primer. For main primer, I use Mr. Surfacer 1500. Main color I use Tamiya XF63. Now I will make shadows using a black Tamiya. For interesting result, I spray whole model in Vallejo chipping fluid diluted in Tamiya X20. This allows me making super nice scratches.
Now I spray a model with Tamiya XF63 but with a few drops of Tamiya White for making color more bright. Now, using warm water and hard brush, I unveil darker color and create nice color effects. Tracks I paint using brush and a mix of Citadel and Vallejo paints. Scratches I make using brush and Vallejo 7872 mix with Vallejo dry rust. Gently using small brush I make small spots. To make tracks less new I use dry brush technique with orange colors and Tamiya flat aluminium. And Vallejo FX dry rust. To unify decals and main color, I spray highly diluted gray color on the decals. Before oil paints, I cover whole model in Hataka clear coats. I use light oil paints on the stug roof for better color modulation. I make some stains and put on the cracks black wash. So here is the end of this project, please subscribe and press like. You also can write a comment, this helps a lot.